We just wrapped up our third Outer Wilds modding community jam, where Entrants had 11 days to make a story mod following a theme and a restriction. This time around, the restriction was that each entry could only have one main planet, and that all entries would take place in a shared solar system. The theme was community. In total across three mod jams, the community has made 33 new mods, and we've given out $880 in prizes. Or, well, we, we will have given out that money right right after I post this video, and then, and then we announce the winners, and, and, then, and then I send them the money. For this jam, we got 10 entries, not counting the one I threw together in a day, just to test that all the shared solar system stuff was working. Anyway, to get to the point, the winners of the jam, starting from third place, are... Solar Rangers in third place. This entry really came out of left field, being a space combat simulator tasking the player with taking down an off-brand Death Star. However, they did do the bare minimum in establishing a framing device that fit the theme of community, with a brave team of Solar Rangers fighting to defend the community. Next up we have Reflections in second place. This mod is pretty short, but has a really cool setting that I would spoil entirely by saying anything about it, so you'll just have to trust me on this one. Damn, it's like impossible to talk about Outer Wilds, even about mods, because everything is spoilers and ruins the point of playing, so you, so you just, just have to be like, trust me bro, it's good, trust me. If you want my full thoughts on it, I have a playthrough linked in the description, but I think you're best off just trying the mod out yourself. Much like with Solar Rangers, the link to the theme is there, but takes a backseat to a different kind of spectacle. And finally, in first place, we have Hearth's Neighbor 2 Magisterium. This is the sequel to the winner of our previous mod jam, so the team is really on a hot streak here. Now to be honest, Magisterium winning was obvious from the get-go and was unanimously voted first by our judges. They fully took the theme of community and ran with it while also creating a super detailed space station setting to explore and some really fun puzzles to solve. So uh, good job fellas, that, that, that was a good mod. Now if you want to play through the jam winners or any of the other jam mods, I've linked the jam page in the description. I've also linked my playthroughs of each mod from during the judging process in case you'd rather just watch. For now they're all enlisted, but I'll make them public over time. I just don't want to spam my channel with 9 videos in one day. Now at time of recording, there's one jam entry band together that's in an unfinishable state, but hopefully they'll get that mod working properly soon because it has a lot of potential. However, the other entries are all quite fun to play. Callie's Thesis has you investigating a Nomai archive. Finny has you exploring this weird potato looking planet with some neat puzzles in it. Axiom's Refuge brings the Outer Wilds Alpha into the finished game. Symbiosis has a creepy alternate version of Timber Hearth. Jam Hub showcases a bunch of existing and upcoming mods. And Echo Hike has just about the coolest game mechanic I think any mod has ever implemented. Now to close out this jam video, we have one last award to bestow. Even more important than quote unquote winning the jam which is who had the best Ernesto the Magic Talking Anglerfish Easter Egg. I don't know why this keeps happening, I've, I've lost track of how many Outer Wild story mods there are that feature this talking anglerfish in some way, but 7 out of the 10 entries had Ernesto hidden away in them. For this part, we'll go from the least Ernesto to the most Ernesto. In last place we have Reflections. Honestly, this shouldn't even be on the list because, yes, while there is, Apparently, a secret anglerfish easter egg, I personally never found it. He doesn't even talk. Ernesto is a magic talking anglerfish, he has to talk. Next up we have Axiom's Refuge. Again, this is on a technicality because this anglerfish isn't even named Ernesto. However, he does talk, so he gets a pass. Also, big shout out for referencing Ernesto's husband, Waldo the Jellyfish. Magisterium's Ernesto is actually named Ernesto and does talk. However, I completely forgot he existed until I was done writing this entire list and realized I only had 6 entries instead of 7. So for being so forgettable, you're gonna be near the bottom. You can't win them all, I suppose. After this, we have Solar Rangers, a true evolution of Ernesto as he has now become a mechanized warrior. We're in our top 3 now. Jam Hub is up next, fittingly using Ernesto as some sort of spokesperson or symbol of the modding community. In the number 2 spot, we have the Ernesto Hidden in Cali's Thesis. He's in the number 2 spot because he is committing tax evasion. And finally, in first place for number 1 best Ernesto, is the Ernesto featured in Symbiosis. 
This is an excellently written Ernesto in my opinion, and the mod even adds to the rich Ernesto lore. Also, I just really liked this one joke. So congratulations, Symbiosis, for winning the real prize for this jam. Your reward is, uh, is nothing. It's just me praising the mod right now. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Go play the mods.